Hey folks, so let's take a look at the full moon in Sagittarius happening on June 14, 2022. So as usual, I'm off camera and what I have up on screen is the astrological configuration of the full moon so that we could have a better uh, visual appreciation of the configuration of the full moon. So we have here a full moon along the Gemini Sagittarius axis. So the full moon means that the moon is directly across from or opposite the sun. So we have the sun there at 23 degrees and 25 minutes of Gemini lying across from the full moon at 23 degrees Sagittarius. So this Gemini Sag axis, an axis that we've spent quite some time talking about on the channel, as we most recently had the nodes of the moon, the lunar nodes in Gemini Sag before they would have moved into Taurus Scorpio, where they are now. And as an aside, I'll put a link below to our dedicated video on the nodes being in Taurus Scorpio, North Node in Taurus, South Node in Scorpio. And we're going to have a part two up soon as we continue to reflect on the meaning of the nodes being in Taurus Scorpio, the Taurus Scorpio nodal phase from 2022 to 2023. So we'll have a part two up discussing more of those themes. So Gemini Sag, an axis that we've dubbed the axis of perception, Gemini. So perception being the first stage of the Gemini process. So perception and perspective, Sag. So the axis of perception and perspective, Gemini Sagittarius. So coming to a broader perspective would be a quintessentially Sagittarian thing to do. So organizing your perceptions into a larger framework of meaning. So this question of how you come to meaning in your life is a Sagittarian kind of question. And so this question of perception and perspective is an especially important one in today's world where much of our perception of reality and the world is heavily mediated by a lot of data, Gemini. So we live in a highly information and data saturated world. And we would have spent some time talking about some of these considerations at the new moon in Gemini at the end of May, May 30 to be exact. So Gemini would put on the table, would put squarely on the table, the kind of data and information that makes up what we call your perceptual filter of the world, the lens you look through to observe your world. And that perceptual and informational and thought filter, Gemini, would, let's say, form the building blocks of your larger perspective, your larger sense of meaning, Sagittarius. And so at the new moon in Gemini just gone, at the end of May, May 30, one of the things that we talked about or suggested was doing an audit an audit of the kinds of data and information you take in on a daily or even weekly basis. So what you read, the videos and shows you watch, the people whose content you follow on social media, etc. And that audit would have given you a sense of the kind of material that is making up your perceptual filter, what you are feeding into your mind, which in turn influences your mind's grasp of the reality around it. All right, so let's look at the configuration of this full moon more deeply. So as we said, the Sag moon at 23 degrees lies across from the Gemini sun and both the sun and the moon 
are squaring up with Neptune. Neptune in Pisces there at 25 degrees of the sign. So this moon is feeding into a Sun-Neptune square. And of course, the Sun squares up with Neptune twice for the year. So when the Sun is in Gemini and when the Sun is in Sagittarius in November, December. So let's parse this and let's uh, take the collective level first. Let's do that. So this is a full moon that calls our attention to things that dissolve. This is Neptune. Things that dissolve the structure of our beliefs and our perceptions. Things that cause the unraveling and dissolution of our beliefs and our thoughts and perceptions. And in the Neptune in Pisces years, this is something that we are seeing on a mass level, a mass collective level. So worldwide, we could say that there is a mass initiation, a mass initiation of consciousness that involves a cognitive unraveling, a cognitive dissolution, so unraveling and dissolving of thoughts, beliefs, perceptions, and this unraveling and dissolution can be difficult because there is an erosion of something concrete to hold on to in terms of the things that we would have used to make sense of our world. So the things I used to hold on to steadfastly to make sense of my world, well, they are being undone. In this Neptunian process and so when things don't make sense when there is confusion Neptune in Pisces or when you are forced to accept things that don't make sense there is a cognitive unraveling a dissolution so within the collective there is a variety of responses to this kind of phenomenon so segments of the collective will sink into, let's say, further and further confusion, psychic fragmentation, and cognitive dissonance. So there's that response. And then on the other hand, there is another kind of response where because things in the outer world don't make sense or they're not adding up, well, it opens up the space to ask questions, to question things. And that is another octave or let's say frequency of Neptune. Neptune opens up the space. It is a space creating agent. It creates a void. And so when there is a cognitive unraveling, a mental unraveling, when things don't make sense, on one level, it can create the space. It opens up the necessary space within the mind for the mind to start questioning its beliefs. So sometimes there has to be dissolution and confusion, Neptune, in order to open up the space for new perceptions and beliefs to emerge. And so within the last couple of years, as we have all been inserted into a vastly different reality than the one we would have been accustomed to, well, there has been an unraveling and dissolution that has opened up the space for many people to question their beliefs about the world and about their reality. And this has been an important initiation of mind of psyche, of consciousness. So opening up space in the centers of the collective psyche where space wasn't before. So there's that piece, very characteristic of the Neptune in Pisces years. So Sagittarius, the explorer, opening up ever greater pathways into the territory of reality. That's 
Sagittarius. And so we might do that physically by exploring physical new territory. And so Sagittarius would be naturally linked to this idea of travel, but then also the explorer that opens up pathways into the mind. And so things that broaden the mind would be Sagittarian. So explorer of the physical dimension, but also the dimension of consciousness, which is non-physical. So thoughts, ideas, exploring the wider field of thoughts and ideas to make sense of the world, to give the world meaning. So Sag full moon, especially there with the Jupiter in Aries subtone. So we look to Jupiter or what's going on with Jupiter when we are discussing factors in Sagittarius. So this Sag full moon, especially with that Jupiter in Aries backdrop, that Jupiter in Aries subtone would call attention to the new frontiers in your understanding, the new frontiers and expansion in your understanding of things that comes as a result of dissolving the old structure of your perceptions, thoughts, and beliefs. So the Gemini sun and Sag moon square Neptune in Pisces. So when your old beliefs and ways of looking at the world and your life, when these unravel and dissolve, Neptune, it opens up the space for new understanding, Sag, new perspective, maturation of your perspective. And so we see the Saturn tones here imprinting the color of this full moon. So Saturn there in aspect to the sun and the moon, sun trine Saturn, moon sextile Saturn. So maturation, a Saturn question. So dissolving and unraveling the structure of your thoughts and beliefs in a way that opens up the way for growth in your understanding and coming to a more mature perspective of things. And so full moons, call our attention to what has come to the foreground of our awareness. So as we like to say, just as how the full moon announces itself in the sky, you look up and you see it big and bright. Well, that would mirror an inner psychic process of things coming to the foreground of your awareness. And so this time, in terms of what is coming to the foreground of our awareness, we are looking at that through a Sagittarian lens. So what wisdom, what insight, what understanding and broader perspective is coming to my awareness now? What wisdom, understanding and broader perspective is coming to my awareness as a result of the unraveling or dissolution of how I used to think about things. What breakdown, unraveling and dissolution of my perceptions, thoughts and my beliefs has led me to greater wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And of course, wisdom and knowledge and understanding are Sagittarian things. The seeker after wisdom and truth and knowledge and understanding. That's the Sag archetype. So what wisdom has come to the foreground of my awareness as a result of the unraveling and loosening Neptune of my conceptual frameworks? Where am I experiencing growth in my understanding? And perhaps even a cursory look at where the full moon falls in your chart may give you keys in terms of answering this question of where you're experiencing growth in your understanding of things. Where has the loss of meaning created space, opened up space for new meaning to emerge? Where in my life have I experienced an unraveling and dissolving of my perspective? Where have I been forced to surrender Neptune, to surrender my old frameworks of meaning in order to grow? 
and move into new territory. So on the personal level, where have I needed to surrender and relinquish and allow to dissolve my ways of thinking and perceiving in order to experience growth? Is it in terms of my relationships or how I think of myself and my identity? In what areas of my life is this now showing up? This need to surrender and relinquish and dissolve your ways of thinking and perceiving for growth in your understanding. This need to let go of the way I used to think about things, my opinions, my beliefs, my paradigms, so that I can expand and grow. Sag, expansion, growth into new psychological territory. So Sag full moon, what is life teaching me right now? What is life teaching me, imparting to me by way of wisdom and understanding birthed out of or prompted by unraveling, dissolution, breakdown, and even confusion? That's the big question. So dissolving and unraveling, well, from a higher standpoint, they can be, let's say, aids or allies to you. So periods of confusion, Neptune, Sun square, Neptune. Periods of confusion can be allies that help you to open up new understanding, which is what Sagittarius wants to do, to open up the field of new understanding and wisdom. So confusion, friends, often means that or often speaks to the point. It describes the point at which your old awareness meets up against your emerging new awareness. So confusion is that kind of liminal space, that space of transition between your old awareness and the new awareness that is emerging. So confusion, the point at which the radio hasn't quite been tuned so the signal is dancing between two stations. Something new in my awareness is trying to emerge, but the old has to be phased out and dissolved so that you can sail out into new waters. You can sail out into new waters of understanding and wisdom. And so periods of confusion, Neptunian times can be fruitful, if we have an awareness of the deeper psychic process that is being initiated in times of confusion. So think about that in your own life, but also what's happening on the planetary global scale as many people find themselves confused about the reality that we are collectively in. So there is a collective phasing out of an old belief structure as new understanding and awareness is emerging as the space is created for new understanding to take shape and to unfold within the human psyche, understanding to do with the very nature of our existence or reality, the way things work. And so confusion is that point where old beliefs are confronting new thoughts and perceptions and beliefs that have to emerge. And so, as we said, confusion can generate or lead to a highly fruitful experience if we understand what confusion means on deeper levels. So when you can turn unraveling and dissolution into allies for your growth, allies for growth in your own wisdom and understanding, well, that is when, friends, you would step into your own power. And as we look at the configuration, the pattern of this full moon, we find the Gemini sun there in aspect to Pluto. So the in conjunct sun in conjunct Pluto, 150 degree angular relationship. So sun Pluto, the personal empowerment sun Pluto, 
that comes from your willingness to bear the frictional process of adjusting the way you think and look at your world in order to experience growth and expansion. So these are a few things to think about at this Sagittarius full moon, a few things to consider on the collective level as you look on out at the world and also in your own life. All right, so reminding you as usual that I'm available for a range of private astrological counseling, teaching consultations and packages and links to that are in the description box below where you'll also find links to other astrological material for download and links to connect with me via email if you'd like these and other reflections to be sent to your inbox. So wishing you an enjoyable and exuberant Sagittarius full moon and until next time talk soon bye